I just bought the um from whiskey exchange when they had the rum tasting. Yes. So being all the way in the US, mm. when I ordered it, I couldn't get it here in time. Oh no. So I shipped it. I actually shipped yeah. it to Trinidad because <gasps> my mom is coming up. Oh. My mom just came up. Yeah. So I had nice. to ship it to Trinidad to get it here. Wow. See, that's perseverance. Nice <laughs> I was I definitely wanted. So I got the the Caroni samples and I nice. got the Hamden nice. all the Hamden marks. Yeah. So man, those Caroni samples were like Vials. I was like, man, was this the you know different version of the, of the Corona vaccine? That's it. I think so. Yeah, it's a Caroni vaccine, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the, the yeah, Caroni is it's just it's just gone crazy, as as you know the the because it's 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 very similar to the why some Japanese whiskeys went really crazy in price because the distilleries closed down. So yeah. as the distilleries closed down, stock runs down. People want to try it and taste it, even if the product wasn't as great as what it could have been. Mm -hmm. um, because, um, I mean, to all be honest, Caroni wasn't made for drinking per se. It was made mm. for blending. Yeah. Um, so these were components. Um, so now people are, are, are pallets of change. So people with pallets of change, they want those big, heavy um, diesel fuel type of rums um, where they were supposed to be parts of a blend. But mm. most of those rums were younger and they weren't aged either. They were again mm -hmm. used for blending, and then those blends have been aged. So now some of these Caronies have been aged um, over here in Europe. Um, some like Lucas have still stayed in in the Caribbean, sort of closer to the distillery. Um, they've they've matured a little bit more, and the flavour profile is not as aggressive as when they were younger. Because um, yeah, if you give some of the younger Caronies to uh, some Trinis, you yeah, you better have a bulletproof vest, man, because they're <laughs> it has to be smooth like a punching. Mm -hmm. Or it has to have a, a proper burn like Babash. Yeah. But it, yeah. It, yeah or it, but if it's got that oily diesel fuel that was which was Karen he'd have, then yeah, that's that's not proper, that's not proper rub. <laughs> Funny, I've never like been in Trinidad, you've never heard of you you know that Karoni produces, yes, but you've never tasted it, it never sells there, you yeah. know. So that's know. the same as Hamden, same as Hamden in Jamaica. In fact, same as Hamden today in yeah. Jamaica. Um, you go to you have a thousand Jamaicans and say to them Hamden, they're like I don't know any Hamden rums, or they don't drink Hamden rums because that's just not. They were meant for blending. They weren't meant right. to be drunk neat and drunk by themselves, um, as such. So, but it's, it's it, Europe's a different market. Europe sees rums in a different way. Um, so they and they built up a palate and a taste for that. So it's it's yeah. It's it, I always say it's horses for courses. It's certain rums are great in some markets and then terrible in other markets because you know, they just they, because they have a market that wants to right. drink those particular rums.